Okay, let's take a look at this example here. Let's say we sign off a note that we sign off a note on February 16th, 2014, and the note has a time frame of 180 days. So here's a table of all the days in a month. And you start from February, number of days, we assume that there's 28 days, subtract today. Uh, February 16th, you have 12 days left in this month, right? So we start accumulated days from 12. Following month, March, there's 31 days. 31 add to 12 gives you 43, so on and so forth. When it reaches the date, July. At the end of July, you reach a point of 165 days. Okay, in this case here, it's really close to the 180. So the due date for this note after 180 days from February 16th all the way, you will get to August 15th. This is the due date of this note. Okay, the reason why we're doing this is because remember journal entries, when we record transactions, there's always a date, there's always accounts and numbers. You have to know what date to journalize the entry. So typically if the debtor waits until the very last day to pay you back the money, you need to know what day that falls under. So the beginning of the day doesn't count. The 16th doesn't count. You just use 28 minus 16, find the number of remaining days, and add on to the following months how many days there are in a month. Accumulate to a point that is very close to 180. Figure out the date that gets you the 180th day. That will be the date that the note matures, the due date of this note.